Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Wisconsin Law Journal's Up and Coming Lawyers, Leaders in the Law event. I'm Joe Yovino, the associate publisher and group editor of the Wisconsin Law Journal. Before we begin today, is anyone here from the State Public Defender's Office? I kid. I know there is, and congratulations to the eight outstanding attorneys from the Public Defender's Office we're honoring today. You know, when we decided last year to combine two of our most popular events, up and coming lawyers and leaders in the law, this event was supposed to be an opportunity to get the legal community's icons sharing the same space with the up and coming phenoms of the field. That didn't exactly happen thanks to the pandemic, but I'm still excited to virtually host 12 fantastic attorneys who are making a name for themselves in the field. And I'm also honored to share the same virtual space with 16 leaders in the law, men and women who have crafted exceptional careers. Throughout the videos you'll see coming up here in a bit, you'll notice a common theme among our legal veterans. Many of them are spending their later years of their careers helping the next generation. And that's really what this event is all about. An opportunity to celebrate leaders in the law who are paving the way for the next generation. So congratulations to our 28 honorees who you'll meet here in a few minutes. And please use the chat feature generously over here to congratulate your honoree and celebrate their accomplishments. Before we get started today, I'd like to thank our generous sponsors who have helped make this program possible. Both of today's sponsors are longtime supporters of the Law Journal and our events. Thank you to our gold sponsor, Reinhardt Berner Van Duren, and our silver sponsor, Foley and Lardner, for their continued support and celebration of the legal community. Both Reinhardt and Foley are household names in the legal landscape and both do excellent work for their clients, and perhaps more importantly these days, for the community as a whole. Again, we thank them for their support. One more thing before we get started, I have a surprise guest for today's honorees from a man who won't need any introduction, but I'll give him one anyway. Judge Lewis Butler is a former justice of the Wisconsin Supreme Court and is the first African American to serve on the high court. He was also the first public defender in Wisconsin history to argue a case before the U.S. Supreme Court. His time on the Supreme Court saw him take part in a number of decisions that continue to guide legal practice in the state today. He's also the kind of man when he t starts to tell a story, you pull up a chair and settle in. And that's not to say he's long-winded. Please help me welcome Judge Lewis Butler. Well, listen, thank you, Joe. It's truly an honor to be here. Um, at the 2020 upcoming lawyers and leaders of the law uh, ceremony. Um, it's unfortunate that because of situations, we have to do this at a distance. Um, I'm doing this from my home. Uh, that means we miss a nice lunch or a nice dinner, depending upon the time of day, and we don't get the chance to socialize and spend time together and celebrate all of the successes of all of the lawyers that are being recognized here today. Uh, but this is a wonderful event and it's a wonderful ceremony for the lawyers who are being recognized today. And uh, it, it's an honor to be recognized by your peers, by the people in the bar. Uh, many of us who've been in practice, you know, you, you handle things one case at a time, you do it uh, one matter at a time. You don't think about what you're doing while you're doing it. You, you do it because you're supposed to do it. You're doing it because you're representing a client. You're doing it because it's the right thing to do. You're doing it to try to achieve justice, uh, to try to uh, make sure that society is a better, a little bit better place than it was when you came into it. Um, I look at the list of up and coming lawyers and, and, and I note that half of the list are public defenders. Uh, I remember back in the day when I started as a public defender, uh, they had a different name for us. Uh, a, a, a lot of people used to say public pretenders and, and well, I mean, we didn't take it that way. We did it because it was an important thing to do. One of the things that drove me early in my practice, that drove my practice as a public defender was the importance that every citizen, including people who lacked the means to pay for a lawyer, every person was entitled to a quality attorney. And it was important from my perspective that I give them that type of representation. And that's what these attorneys have, are, have been doing out here, uh, working to the best of their ability to provide their clients with the type of representation that a person of, of means would be able to afford. Um, we have a great public defender system in Wisconsin. These are good young lawyers. Um, and whether the public defenders or whether the other lawyers who are being recognized here, uh, the importance of remembering why you got into the practice of law to begin with 
I think resonates with them. I mean, they had a reason to do it. It's not, not just winning a case. It's not just the practice of law, although that's important for all of us that, that do this uh, for a living. But it's also the importance of doing what's right and, and giving back to the community and uh, doing so in a meaningful way, which is why you will see with many of these attorneys that they're not just practicing with their firm. They're not just public defenders. They're out there. They're, they're, they're serving on boards. They're doing community service work. They're trying to, uh, to, to help people in other ways other than just in a courtroom setting. And that's why they're being recognized here today. So these up and coming lawyers, this is the new crop. These are the people that, that are gonna come out here and uh, set the mold for the next 20, 30 years. Um, I can say that being one of the old folks, uh, <laughs> as you get older, uh, you, you, don't, you don't think about the things that you've done. You do them because you're supposed to. They're car carving out their way. They're doing the right things by the, the people that they represent and by the community that they serve. When I look at the um, leaders in the law honorees, um, some of these people really touch a heart. I mean, I look at this list and I see one of my law school professors, uh, Howard Erlinger, uh, Howie, uh, uh, I, re I remember the class I had with him. I remember teaching with him at the law school um, uh, after I left the, the court. And uh, just a, a fine individual. So, so you can go back and there's another UW connection there too, because I see one of my former students, Colleen, uh, Marion, um, who is not only one of my former students at the law school, but she, she's the daughter of one of my former colleagues and one of my former opponents, both parents. Um, uh, so it, it was a treat to see her name on this list. Uh, I look at, at, at Judge Neese, Rick Neese, uh, recently retired, uh, who was appointed to the bench by Governor Doyle the same year I was appointed to, to the Supreme Court. And he's, he was an outstanding judge during his career. He finally decided to, to step aside, but just a good man, an excellent sense of humor and a really good sound judge. Um, Matt O'Neill, uh, who I've known for years and who's uh, an, in, I've served with in the ends of court, um, uh, sergeants in, I mean, this is, these are friends. These, these are people that I know. Um, one of the names here caught me off guard. I had to, to email her last night um, Abigail Volberding is the daughter-in-law of my long time and my wife's long time personal doctor. Uh, you, you can't get a connection any better than that. I mean, just, and it was just a treat uh, introducing myself to her uh, yesterday. Um, you look at the posthumous award, uh, Jonathan Safran, uh, a fine civil rights lawyer who is truly missed. Um, um, and, it, and it's great that he's being recognized for his service. Um, and then the Lifetime Achievement Award, uh, Jerry Patak, uh, just an outstanding gentleman and gentleman's judge out of Racine County. Uh, the, this is a fine group. And the, the, the other names that I haven't gone through, I'm not going to mention everybody, but these are outstanding individuals. And it's truly an honor that the bar has taken time and, and, the, and the Wisconsin Law Journal has taken time to recognize their achievements and the things that they have done to make their community a better place. Uh, and it's such an honor for me to be part of this ceremony. I wish we could do this in person. I wish I could be there. I wish I could enjoy the meal. Uh, but but this is something that, that they'll remember. I remember I was inducted into the class of 2014, and that's something that I re will recall uh, and remember for, for the rest of my days. And so uh, it's, it's important for them. This is a great evening. Your families uh, should enjoy and celebrate this time with you. Um, and, and, and I just am so thrilled to be a part of this. And I wish everyone the best going forward. This is the future of our profession. Uh, you have done well, and we thank you. Thank you, Judge Butler, for those inspiring words. And now let's meet the 2020 class of up and coming lawyers first, and then we'll meet our leaders in the law. Our first up-and-comer is Emma Babler. Emma Babler is the Reference and Technology Librarian at the University of Wisconsin Law Library. She is responsible for evaluating and teaching legal technologies to law students, faculty, legal professionals, and the general public. She also maintains the Law Library's website and social media. Last year, the Law Library entirely overhauled their website, 
and Emma was the primary librarian responsible for this important project. Emma's expert use of social media outlets has also created a friendly and professional online persona for the Law Library that encourages patrons to seek librarian assistance on complicated legal research questions. Our next honoree is John Binder. John Binder of Kukler & Cotton is determined, smart, and creative. In February 2020, he tried a felony possession of firearm jury trial in Milwaukee and argued for and received a directed verdict, a rare feat in a criminal prosecution. John has also won at the Court of Appeals this year in an operating while intoxicated case. In an Eastern District of Wisconsin federal conspiracy case, he filed a motion to suppress his client's statements and the government conceded the issue. He is definitely on the fast track to making a significant impact on the criminal defense legal community. Our next honoree is Guy Cardamoni. Before becoming a member of the Wisconsin State Public Defender's Office, Guy Cardamone spent five years in the Miami-Dade County Public Defender's Office. He is an extremely talented trial attorney and advocate for his clients. He is always prepared, poised, and professional. He has spent the last year and a half teaching young public defenders in Wisconsin and nationwide. He is an excellent teacher, passionate, caring, genuinely wanting to see his students succeed. He truly believes that public defenders and defense attorneys in general are soldiers in the trenches, and with the best training, success is possible. Our next honoree is Timothy Drua. Based on his level of experience, when Timothy Drua joined the Wisconsin State Public Defender's Office in West Bend, he was assigned to supervise and mentor new attorneys. He also became a forensic practice coordinator for the agency. Along with the other FPC, he identifies forensic resources and experts, trains staff, and consults with attorneys on cases throughout the state. He handles serious forensic cases that have complex legal and medical issues. He is a tenacious litigator, passionate in his commitment, and approaches his clients with empathy, standing as a protective and persuasive voice for them at trial. Next up is Elena Folly. As an assistant state public defender in the Appleton Trial Office, Elena Folly is a dedicated and fierce advocate for juvenile and parent clients. She uses her litigation skills and her compassion to fiercely fight for her clients in and out of the courtroom. In 2019, she was elected to the State Bar's Children and Law Section Board. She advocated for an official policy which discourages indiscriminate shackling of juveniles throughout Wisconsin. The proposal was passed unanimously. While representing each client with her full heart, she believes that her work in public defense is more than a career. She believes it's her calling. Our next honoree is Matt Lanta. Matt Lanta is an exceptionally efficient attorney whose aggressive motion practice has proved beneficial to many clients. While his dedication to this type of litigation is evident in the broad caseload he carries as an assistant state public defender, he has come to truly specialize in OWI cases. Even more experienced attorneys within the office regularly consult with him on cases. Additionally, he serves on the Rock County OWI Treatment Court, both as the defense attorney on record and as an administrator on the treatment team. His organizational skills and the time he spends getting to know his clients and their families make him an exemplary attorney. Our next up and comer is Monica Mark. What makes Monica Mark an outstanding litigation attorney is her intellectual curiosity and her drive to understand every angle and potential argument of each case with which she is involved. In addition to her legal work on behalf of Reinhardt's clients, she is also passionate about pro bono work. That Monica often goes above and beyond what is expected of her is no surprise to her colleagues. Along with her pro bono work, she has for the past three years led the annual United Way giving campaign at Reinhardt's Madison office and is a member of Young Wishmakers of Wisconsin for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Our next honoree is Isioma Wabuza. A dynamic powerhouse, Isioma Wabuza is a corporate attorney by trade, negotiating deals for international financial services company, Baird. With a strong dedication to her profession, she presently serves as a board member for both the sports and entertainment law 
and IP and Technology Law sections of the State Bar of Wisconsin, the YWCA of Southeast Wisconsin, and the Association of Corporate Counsel, Wisconsin Chapter. In 2019, she founded The Dreamer Next Door, a nonprofit organization designed to mobilize millennials in solving pressing socio-political issues, particularly immigration. Her dedication to her career is matched by her dedication to her community. Next up is Amanda Parent. In the three years since Amanda Parent became a criminal defense attorney, she has litigated over 30 jury trials. She continues to amaze with her litigation skills. Not only is she a fierce litigator who frustrates her opponents, she has also helped other attorneys, both private and public defenders, litigate carrying concealed weapon cases. She developed a defense which others have tried to emulate in their trials. She has started to take serious felony cases and is using the same creativity. In addition, she mentors young attorneys, teaching at the Public Defender's new attorney training, trial skills, and Marquette Law students for the Public Defender Clinic. Our next honoree is Gillian Parham. Gillian Parham serves as an assistant state public defender in the Milwaukee Juvenile Mental Health Office. She is a phenomenal litigator, a supportive colleague, an advocate who goes above and beyond for her clients. She puts her heart and soul into her representation of young people accused of crimes with the utmost integrity. She recognizes the life-altering impact that having a record and being involved in the criminal legal system can have on a young person psychologically, economically, and socially. She fights hard to make sure that judges, probation officers, and prosecutors see her clients for who they really are, children. Our next honoree is Olivia Pietrantoni. Olivia Pietrantoni, Senior Associate at Stafford Rosenbaum, concentrates her practice on her specialties, business law, real estate, and estate planning. She is a host of satisfied clients. She earns the trust of these clients first by being responsive to initial inquiries from potential clients, and then by maintaining an elevated level of professionalism and focus throughout the legal process. She receives notable feedback from clients she serves regarding a delicate balance of compassion, promptness, and knowledge of the law. She has a genuine, how can I help attitude when it comes to achieving the best outcome. And our last up and coming lawyer is Justin Webb. As a shareholder at Godfrey and Kahn, Justin Webb currently serves in a dual role. He is both the co-chair of the data security and privacy practice group and the firm's Chief Information Security Officer. Justin's practice focuses on helping clients with the legal issues that arise from technology and data in an increasingly digital world. He is truly a visionary when it comes to developing the cutting-edge legal practice of data security and privacy. Justin's passion for his work is greatly valued by his clients, who appreciate that he is always up to speed on the latest trends and works hard to inform clients when they may be impacted by an arising issue. Now let's meet our 2020 Leaders in the Law honorees. Our first leader is Robert Domo. Robert Dommel, attorney at Hupe and Abraham, has the impressive talent of putting clients at ease regarding the progress of their cases and the safety of their future. He has obtained millions in successful verdicts and settlements for his clients and currently works out of the firm's Green Bay location. He has devoted his legal career to protecting the rights of people who have suffered serious injuries. Beyond his successes in legal proceedings, he is an active member of the community, serving as a mentor to law students and new attorneys, and lecturing at various legal education programs. Next up is Howard Erlinger. Professor Howard Erlinger is a nationally regarded teacher, scholar, and leader, who served as UW's Voss Bascom Professor of Law until his retirement in 2013, and now continues to teach part-time. His teaching and scholarship are concentrated in the areas of wills, trusts, marital property, estate planning, and socio-legal studies. Over the years, students have recognized his exceptional teaching. Recent alumni and current students voted him as UW Law School's Classroom Teacher of the Year, a record six times in a 31-year span. Through his years of dedicated service, he has earned the respect and admiration of his colleagues and students. Please help me congratulate Katie Harrell. Katie Harrell is a partner at Stafford Rosenbaum, where her practice focuses on family law and trusts and estates. 
She is trained in and practices collaborative divorce law, which allows her to put her genteel persuasion skills to use to help clients avoid litigation. She provides and encourages open and honest communication and engages in collaborative problem solving that results in saving time and money for a client. She believes the best way to make the client's experience successful is to make the process efficient while using her patient and kind demeanor to build strong relationships with clients, opposing counsel, and decision makers. Our next honoree is Russell Jones. Russell Jones opened Jones Law Firm in 2008 and has been a benchmark for what an attorney should strive for in order to achieve a fulfilling career. Focusing primarily on criminal defense, he works to make sure the scales of justice are balanced, finding great satisfaction in tackling cases with high stakes and serving as his client's guide, protector, and confidant. Beyond the courtroom, he's involved with several causes. He runs a monthly legal clinic at Serenity Ends, a drug and alcohol recovery program, and is a proud supporter of the Boys and Girls Club, Hometown Heroes, the American Cancer Society, and Make-A-Wish Foundation. Next up, congratulations to Russell Carnes. Russell Carnes is an absolutely crucial part of Gimbel, Riley, Guerin, and Brown. He has developed a diverse civil litigation practice focused on real estate, property tax assessment appeals, contract and business disputes, foreclosure and title insurance litigation, misrepresentation claims, and municipal law. He also assists clients in their business, estate planning, and real estate transactions. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he has helped the firm pivot by presenting to organizations, as well as the State Bar of Wisconsin, on business interrupted COVID-19 insurance coverage issues and coronavirus impact on commercial leases. Our next honoree is Colleen Marion. Colleen Marion is the local attorney manager at the Wisconsin State Public Defender, Appellate Division, Madison office. She is a great colleague, an expert, an editor, a person to brainstorm with, and someone to go to when any sort of challenging issue arises. Simply put, her research is always thorough and her arguments are persuasive. She consistently raises creative and law developing arguments on her clients' behalves. She is inspiring in the way she fights for her clients and by how much she cares about representing the underserved and discarded in the criminal justice system. Congratulations to our next honoree, Judge Richard Neese. Richard Neese has been at the center of many of Wisconsin's most closely watched court cases in the last decade. He knows the importance of moving these types of cases along quickly without sacrificing quality. Governor Jim Doyle appointed Neese to the Dane County Circuit Court in 2004. He won re-election in 2017 and served until his retirement. Before his appointment, he spent 26 years in a trial practice and as a mediator, experience that helped greatly in becoming a judge. His understanding of people and the law made him an informal leader of the Dane County Judiciary and someone judges could rely on for advice. Our next leader in the law is Matthew O'Neill. Matthew O'Neill is a shareholder at Fox O'Neill and Shannon. Matt, whose practice focuses on commercial litigation and arbitration, is in the top echelon of civil litigators in Wisconsin, if not the country. His legal expertise and practical analyses are so well known that he regularly receives case referrals from counsel across the country. His goal is to obtain the fairest, most appropriate, most efficient, and most economical result for a client within the bounds of his legal and ethical obligations. He is also active in the Eastern District of Wisconsin Bar Association, Legal Action of Wisconsin, Uptown Crossing Business Improvement District, and the ALS Association of Wisconsin. Our next award winner is Timothy Reardon. Timothy Reardon is a shareholder in Reinhardt's corporate law and tax practices, and also serves as a member of the firm's board of directors. He places great importance on creating a relationship with his clients and understanding their business and strategy. In Tim's own words, when it comes to building a relationship with a client, he likes to go out and kick the tires and get his feet dirty. This level of personal investment in a client's business is what sets him apart. Outside the firm, he serves on the boards of Junior Achievement and Lutheran Living Services. Both professionally and personally, he embodies excellence, character, 
integrity, and humility. Congratulations to Allison Ryman. Allison Ryman is a shareholder in Godfrey and Kahn's litigation practice, and her focus is primarily on antitrust and white collar investigations. But she is not limited to just these areas. Her detail oriented and pragmatic approach make her a sought after partner in cases involving healthcare, mergers and acquisitions, and many more. She often finds herself in the complex regulatory world of her clients. As a litigator, she sees every case as an opportunity to build expertise in a new area. She leads by example and displays characteristics important for success in law, poise, keen intellect, sound judgment, and a tireless work ethic. Our next honoree is Cynthia Rigsby. Cynthia Rigsby is a partner and intellectual property attorney at Foley & Lardner, where she is a member and former chair of the IP litigation practice and a member of the international practice in the firm's medical device initiative. She also serves as co-chair of the firm's fashion, apparel, and beauty practice. In addition to her legal acumen, she played a leading role launching the Milwaukee Fashion Initiative, an effort to bring together local designers, educators, manufacturers, retailers, and others interested in supporting and growing the Milwaukee area fashion industry. Congratulations to our next honoree, John Sabotic. John Sabotic of the Wisconsin Department of Transportation Office of General Counsel has had a remarkable impact on traffic law and prosecution. He is not only incredibly knowledgeable, but also incredibly generous in helping Wisconsin attorneys with traffic law related questions. Any lawyer practicing traffic or municipal law in Wisconsin knows who John is and has likely contacted him seeking answers. He is also a fixture at the annual Wisconsin OWI Prosecutors Seminar where he has provided training to hundreds, if not thousands, of prosecutors over the course of many years. Congratulations to our next leader in the law, Abigail Volberding. Though Abigail Volberding of Lafleur Law Office has practiced in other areas, family law is her true passion. She prides herself on her availability, quick responses, and open communication with her clients and is particularly passionate about keeping children's best interests at the forefront of all negotiations. She has extensive experience in the traditional and collaborative divorce process and litigation. She knows the law inside and out. She is collegial and always ready to roll up her sleeves to take on a tough project. Working closely with her clients to help them feel empowered again, she displays a sense of humility, composure, and justice. And now, congratulate Tony Young. Tony Young zealously fights for her clients with a strong and experienced legal mind and with her heart forward. She cares greatly for the well being of her clients and their families and prioritizes their need for fair and effective representation. Tony is a treasure trove of knowledge, empathy, and passion for clients. The criminal justice system, and maybe more accurately, the world, would be a lot more fair with more people like Tony. She is committed to treat clients with dignity and compassion and to lead the way in protecting justice for all. This year, we're also honoring attorney Jonathan Saffron with a posthumous award. Please join me in celebrating the life of Mr. Saffron. When Jonathan Saffron took on a case, he was dogged in his pursuit and meticulous about his methods. John, who died in May after a five and a half year battle with cancer, became known for championing civil rights cases. He and his firm, Samster Conklin Saffron, took on high profile police brutality cases, some of which led to policy and procedural changes in the Milwaukee Police Department. The lawsuit over the fatal police shooting of Dontre Hamilton in Milwaukee's Red Arrow Park in 2014 changed the way officers handled cases involving people with mental illness. John went to great lengths for his clients, and his work continues to make Milwaukee a better and safer place for all residents. And finally this afternoon, please help me congratulate our final honoree and our Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Judge Gerald Patak of the Racine County Circuit Court. A true gentleman and model of professional collegiality and personal character, Judge Gerald Patak mightily leads 
Throughout his 30 years as a Racine County Circuit Court judge, he was thoughtfully aware not only of the intricate details of his cases, but also of the large scale and long-term significance of his work. He led numerous collaborative efforts to improve the prosperity of his community and the state. As he was retiring from the bench, he accepted an appointment from the Supreme Court to serve as chairperson of the Lawyer Regulations System Procedures Review Committee. Their work enhanced the fairness, effectiveness, and efficiency of the regulation system and set it on a firm footing for the next generation. Judge Patak's leadership on the committee, as during his tenure as judge, was a model for lawyers of the character and qualities that promote meaningful progress and inspire public confidence and respect. Thank you. I was truly surprised to learn of this award and I'm honored and humbled to receive it. I'd like to thank Keith Celine, who's the director of the Office of Lawyer Regulation for making this nomination and Chief Justice Pat Rogensack for supporting it. Further, I thank my family for their love and support, my, especially my wife, Lisa, my son, Tristan, and my daughter, Anna. Thank you guys for providing a base that's helped me remain grounded. I also want to acknowledge my deceased parents, Helen and Fran Patak, who helped me understand the value and the rewards of public service. Both began their adult careers as teachers, and my mom went on at one point in her career to become the elected clerk of courts in Green Lake County, and my dad served as the Green Lake County uh, Ag Agent, and ultimately served as a supervisor on the county board. To me, public service means stepping up to the plate when asked, and identifying an issue and taking the initiative to head in a new direction to solve a problem. I've been fortunate to work in a legal environment where judges, lawyers, court administrators, and court staff and citizens are willing to take on a challenge and to cooperatively work to find a solution. Thank you all. Finally, I thank the Wisconsin Law Journal for creating and continuing to hold this event. Judges work diligently each day to help litigants resolve disputes and to improve the court process. Receiving such an award validates our efforts. Thank you all very much. What a tremendous group of honorees, and thank you for giving the Law Journal a chance to tell your stories. And speaking of stories, all of today's nominees will be featured in the September edition of the Wisconsin Law Journal, which will be available soon. If you can't wait for the magazine, all the stories are now live on wislawjournal.com. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you to Judge Butler, and thank you to all the honorees for the important work you're doing across the state. And thank you again to our sponsors, Reinhardt Berner Van Duren and Foley and Lardner. We appreciate the support from both of these top-notch firms. Congratulations again to all our award winners. Please stay safe and have a great rest of your day.